Hey there, welcome to Yes Yoga Art Stories and I'm Tripti, a trained yoga teacher and born and brought up in Mumbai or Bombay in India and currently living in Germany in Frankfurt. So in today's episode, I'm just going to talk about cleanliness and how to see yoga in cleanliness. So this morning when I got up, as usual, I recited my two morning shlokas. I'll make another episode on it. And after that, I came down with the intention that I had to clean this room so that it's nice and clean and the kitchen so that I can do my yoga uh, asanas uh, practice. I can start my practice a little bit more seriously. So... And then I was thinking about the task of cleaning. Now, cleaning is something that's quite boring and nobody really wants to do it because it's a very mundane job. And obviously, if you can outsource it, nothing like it, right? But just to look at the yogic aspect in something called something like cleaning. So what I did is I cleaned the floor. Here you can see how filthy everything is. And I'm really fussy because um, let me just do this now you can look at the floor here so these are like two wooden uh, wooden uh, what you call wooden uh, planks and in the middle here the, these interstices sometimes a lot of sesame seeds and uh, sunflower seeds and all these things from bread what my kids love to eat and some sometimes my younger son especially walks around so it all falls here and then I have to do this and get this out because I really have this sort of work problem but then uh, looking at it in that way when i was in japan i saw how the monks would get up really early in the morning and clean up the floor and they would not do it like some uh, but they looked so happy while doing all these mundane uh, boring necessary tasks and that was like what i thought is the mental effect on such tasks because when i clean i always feel that it's it's like cleaning up not just the the surrounding but also cleaning the mind um and in yoga we actually in the ashtanga yoga system we actually have the yamas and the niyamas and in the niyama the first niyama is saucha so saucha is cleanliness and we say in english also cleanliness is next to godliness so why not take the task of cleaning also as a spiritual task as a meditative task and while cleaning you can declutter your mind while decluttering your surroundings so that's what i thought of doing and of course sometimes i get a lot of thoughts and it's like a flashback movie i think about all the old times and i was thinking about uh, um my first job so my first job in uh in germany i worked for the expo 2000 as an it project manager so i was taking care of different projects and my boss uh dr bush he used to like this britney spears a lot i mean the music uh, so i thought who's this britney spears and then of course for the party there we had britney spears so i was just thinking about her song and i just sing a little bit of you uh, a little bit of the song for you i mean she still has breath in the song which is like pranayama uh, okay so she goes on singing oh baby baby the reason i breathe is you boy you've got me blinded and it goes on and on and on and then she sings um my lonely my loneliness is killing me i must confess i still believe and it goes on so i was just thinking why does this woman feel lonely so if you feel lonely maybe you can just start cleaning you know or building your body i mean of course britney has a great body and you can see so many yoga positions so now going back to yoga how the mind is right from one thought to the other thought and my mind is really like a uh, vanar sena vanar sena vanar is like monkeys so monkey it's like a whole lot of monkeys uh, from one thought to the other thought jumping um yeah so today i just want to do a little um a yoga exercise with you it's called bhagda kona asana asana which i really love and in school they used to call it butterfly so how do you do the butterfly let me just go a little bit behind let's see if i can get this get my whole self 
Yeah. So before doing Padakonasana, you can practice a little bit of hip opening. So take your feet, I mean, take your leg very carefully and you can just do this sort of an exercise so that you get this nice opening of your thigh and your hip. It helps for the further ones. And then you can go on to hold it like this and also rock a little bit left and right. And breathe while you do that. And then you can carefully place your left leg and do the same with the right leg because otherwise it's not fair. And it's also not uniform. I mean, it's not. So again, the same thing, a little bit of rocking and then breathing in your own, at your own speed. And I make my people do Badakonasana almost every time. So Mondays I teach at Fitness First in Frankfurt Yoga. So that's what I do. And now let me just do a little bit like this so you can see my feet. So now carefully you hold your hand just here and the knee has to be always higher than the ankle. That's what we learn in uh, Iyengar Yoga system. So you put your, place your foot like this very carefully and the other foot also you can place very carefully here. And the, the, the feet, the, so the, the feet, the toes are like this. They are open like a book. A friend of mine has just come. So, uh, so the, and the feet are open like a book here. Uh, um, and the, the, the heels are together. And then you bring it as close as possible to your perineum. Let me go like this now, yes. And then with a straight spine, you breathe. And you go further down, down till you, till your chin touches the floor. So maybe you can start with your forehead touching the floor and then you can practice till you get your chin touching the floor like mine. So as you saw, this is like a book. It's like an open book and your heart is open and it opens you up. And Sarah, one of my teachers, I mean, when I did my teacher training with Paul Dallahan in uh, Lonavla, uh, his assistant teacher was Sarah. She gave a brilliant idea. And that's like she said, so if it's difficult to go down to bend forward like this, so straight spine, pull yourself, lift yourself up, straight, open heart and go like this. So she said that instead of you can go like a snake. And that was a very good idea. So you can breathe and go like a snake. It makes it a little bit easier then to go with the flow like a little river all the way down so that was one short episode of one story one yoga asana and have a great sunday and see you again soon bye bye